Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be August reseller recap. So if that is something you wanna watch, then please stick around. All right, I am coming at you today barefaced. I am in the midst of packing for a little trip to California that um, we are doing. So, but I wanted to get this video filmed, possibly edited and up goals right there um so anyways normally i would have like a full face of makeup because this is a beauty and reselling enthusiast channel so i like to you know wear makeup that i am using in my monthly shop my stashes which i can link up in the corner for you if you're interested to see the makeup that i normally would be using for this month um just time time got away from me so this is how we are i'm not apologizing i'm just i'm just telling you why it's a little bit different um so anyways if you are new to my channel reseller recap is basically i one of my hobbies is reselling obviously like i said in the beginning and so i like to kind of break the numbers down and to tell you you know like what i'm actually making this month and what's selling and what's good what's not so good what's not so good um august all of august was not so good um so let's just dive into it so we are recapping august um, so my total sales for the month was $680.68. My total cost of goods, the amount of money that I spent on the products was $184.08. And my total profit was just under $500. So $496.62. Um, so as of recently, I have been... Oh, upping my goal each month of how much profit I want to make. It was $750 before and now I want it to be $1,000 per month. Um, definitely fell very short of that. Um, it, I, I honestly think it was just part of summer slowdown. We'll, we'll talk more about it in my notes section at the very end. So just hold on to your panties if you're interested. Um, so the total number of items I sold was 25 items. My average listing price was $35.49. My average cost of goods was $7.36. And then my average profit per item was $19.86. Um, average days to sell was 65. I always like to say, you know, it's important to know how long it takes for your items to sell. So, you know, if you are a seasonal seller, you know, definitely start. I mean, we're not even in fall yet, but if you have an average days to sell as me you should start listing your winter stuff um so it is good to know i do sell on multiple different platforms um so to break that down even further i sold four on ebay two on mercari one on depop and then the rest um makes it 18 on poshmark i leave all of no i don't leave all of my stuff below i usually just leave my um poshmark down below but i think i need to add in my milkshake um, that's totally out of context. Milkshake is the, like, almost like a link tree that you can use on Instagram that you click it and then all of your, your links pop up. So maybe I might do that now that I'm thinking about it. Um, so let's break it down. I always like to talk about the lowest profiting items, the highest profiting items, other different categories as well. So let's just get started with it. All right. Let's start with our lowest of the low profiting items. Um, so the first one was this Outdoor Voices Very Pale Pink Everyday Short Sleeve T-Shirt sold on Mercari. Um, cost of goods was $7.25. It did sell for $15. So um, after all the fees taken out, my profit was $5.17. It did sell within 12 days of the first time listing it. So um, I do this whole system where, um, like kind of a color coded system with how many times I relist it. So, um, this is indicating to me that I did sell it within the first time of listing it 12 days. That's great. Um, I definitely, I could have waited and maybe gotten a little bit more money out of it, but you know, I, I sell sales equal sales. So I was, <laughs> I was trying to bank on that. Um, but anyways, I still profited, so I'm happy about that. 
the next item was this Lane Bryant chartreuse yellow sweater. Um, I sold it on Poshmark. My cost of goods was $2.92. Um, I did pick it up in my neighborhood garage sale, which I know I did a video on. I will list all of my thrift haul um, playlists up in the corner for you if you're interested to see some of the things that I pick up. I know I just did a huge one not, not too long ago. It was over an hour long. I think almost an hour and 18 minutes to be exact. So something to throw on in the background, you know, while you're listing yourself. Uh, back to this sweater, it did sell for $15. And so I profited $9.08. Um, yes, that's what I profited. It did sell within 99 days of listing it for the first time. Um, because I have so much new inventory and not even new inventory, literally inventory that just has been in my death pile for so long that I somehow have like got the motivation to list um i haven't been relisting a lot of stuff so you might see um numbers of days listed is gonna be quite higher than normally i normally like to relist stuff maybe once every three to four months um but just because i've been getting new items that hasn't been happening um what might start happening though is because i use vendu and that's a reseller tool that i absolutely love i have a referral down below if you're interested in trying it out for two weeks i think you get like two weeks free or some, some trial period um and so i get uh, i pay for the like 125 listings per month um that i can do but i think relisting because it's already on there that should be free or doesn't count towards it because I'm already at like 122 um at I'm filming this on September 19th so I definitely um will run out of those pretty quickly but that might be a good time to realist it's like a little little bit of a hack for you um okay so the next item is this Victoria's Secret Dream Angels lightly lined lace bra um I did purchase this for myself at Plato's Closet. I purchased two of them. They were the same size, but two different colors. They just didn't end up working for me. Um, but I sold a Mercari. My cost of goods was $9. Why I say I bought them for myself is because that's a little bit higher than I would normally pay for resale. Um, it did sell for $23, and so I profited $10.39. It sold um, 36 days within the first time of listing it. I believe the other one is still available. It's kind of this really pretty light sage green color. Uh, the next item is this E Shakti cutout front cotton check midi dress. Um, this one sold on eBay. My cost of goods was $5.59. It sold for... $25 plus shipping. Is that right? Did it $25 or $20? I think it was $20 plus shipping. Yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it. Um, so with shipping, it, it ended up being like $37. I profited $11.45. It did sell 75 days within the first time listing. And I remember putting in my notes, what a mess of a buyer. Um, so a little story with it. I had it listed. This same buyer purchased it from me, like already kind of on the very much lower end of my spectrum of what I would have sold it for. But again, I was, August just wasn't that great. So I was like, sure, just, just get it out. I'm still going to be profiting. They never paid for it which is also in my notes, which we'll talk about later. Um, they never paid for it. I eventually had to end up canceling it. Then the same person came back and was like, Hey, can I purchase it for even lower? Because I only have X amount of dollars in my account, blah, blah, blah. Was, no. So I told him, I was like, I'm willing to let you purchase it at the same purchasing price that you had before. And I do request that you pay immediately. Um, so eventually they purchased it. I don't think they still, they still, they paid within the day, but you know, I want like things paid for, um, because right, right when you pay for it, I'm packaging it up and I'm shipping it out. Um, so it was a mess of a buyer on eBay. Um, I did overpay on shipping, which is kind of cool on eBay. They will actually, um, retroactively like repay you if you over over pay on shipping. <laughs> But the caveat is, is they will also take money away from you if you underpay on shipping, which I've also learned this month too. Uh, so the next item 
for I think this is the highest of the lowest profits was this seek the label bandage crop top sold on Poshmark my cost of goods was three dollars forty six cents it sold for twenty dollars and I profited twelve dollars fifty four cents it sold within 143 days of the first time listing so again that's kind of uh, an idea of where my listing days are so I can I, I might see my average sale dates um, be increasing but let's talk about the highest profits now because that's that's the good good right there um so the first item was this eileen fisher system washable stretch crepe slim pants these sold on ebay uh, my cost of goods was five dollars 59 cents they sold for 49 dollars plus shipping um so it ended up being 59 dollars and 20 cents um so i profited 30 dollars and 70 cents and unfortunately my last vacation that I went on, the person um, bought these like the day I was leaving. Um, I was leaving very early in the morning, so there's no way for me to package it up and take it to the post office. Um, so, you know, I just let them know. I was like, hey, thank you so much for purchasing this. I was very open. Like, I will be back this day and I will be shipping it this date. My problem was is that I paid for shipping that day that I left. I didn't know this, but um your labels expire after i think seven days or six six seven days or something like that so when i went to go um print my label it said it expired so i had to pay for shipping again uh, that totally ate into my profits but it's okay i still profited pretty well for it um but just word to the wise don't pur if you are going to be gone don't purchase your shipping labels because it will expire um, this actually came from my haul that I picked up like 10 pairs of this same pant. Um, some of them were in the same colors, some of them were in different colors. Um, I think I've sold about maybe 80% of those pants, so it was definitely a good pickup. I do love picking up Eileen Fisher and will continue to pick up these pants if they are in, um, you know, good condition, good price. Um, but these still sell 60 days within the first time of listing. My next item was this um, pair of Justin 1314 Men's Classic Rover Boot. These sold on eBay. My cost of goods was $1.50 because I picked them up at the Goodwill bins. Um, they sold for $40 plus shipping, um, which ended up being $54.50. So I profited $37.50. Um, they sold within 38 days of the first time listing and I am very, I'm ashamed to say that these literally have been sitting in my death pile for probably over a year because for some reason they, they were kind of deflated they just felt a little bit plasticky like if the leather wasn't that kind of like supple leather so I was just like I, these these are only gonna be like thirty dollars you know like per a uh, retail price so i was like i just i don't i don't know why if i don't love an item then I, I don't list it right away um so i again i was kind of getting my button gear with listing stuff decided to i actually looked them up and they retailed for like 120 dollars or something i was like oh okay <laughs> maybe i should list these so they sold relatively quickly and actually I just sold another pair of Justin boots that I found at the Goodwill bins um, that were in like way worse condition. I think I sold them for a little bit more too, but they were a much nicer pair, like a, a prettier aesthetically looking pair of boots. Um, so maybe Justin boots are a good hot ticket item on eBay. So just be careful, not be careful. Just be on the lookout, be on the lookout. If you find some Justin boots, they may sell well on eBay. All right, so the next item was another men's item. It was called Good Man Brand Classic Legend London Sneaker. These sold on Poshmark. My cost of goods was $7.39. It sold for $65, so I profited $44.61. They did sell 41 days in the first time of listing it. Uh, the next item was this beautiful Hill House Ellie nap dress in this pink gingham, like the most gorgeous dress. I actually picked this up on um, retail arbitrage from TJ Maxx. Um, my cost of goods was $27, so 
yeah, it was, it was definitely more on the expensive side. It did sell on eBay. Um, it sold for $83 plus shipping, which came out to $95.55. My profit was $44.94. It sold within the first day um, of listing it for the first time. And another funny story is that this actually sold on Poshmark within an hour of me listing it for $95. Um, and of course I had already packaged that baby up, slapped a label on it, was ready to put it outside until the buyer was like, Oh, I didn't read the, I didn't read the size of it. Um, so I'm, an, I'm normally an extra small. I think the stress was a small, I'm normally an extra small. And so I normally, I'm not petty or anything when it comes to that. It's like, okay, whatever. So I just said bummer, you know, and then I, I canceled it and she's like, well, you know, maybe I can make it work. You know, like what are the measurements, blah, blah, blah. And then she's like, oh, I looked it up on the website. Um, if you're in between sizes, then you need to size down. So at least she was kind of like seemingly apologetic <laughs> about getting my hopes up. Um, but anyways, it's still, it's just sold the next day um, for still very great money. So I profited pretty well. All right. So the very last item that I sold for the highest profit this month was a pair of Fry light brown suede Melissa button boots. They sold on Depop. My cost of goods was $5.29. It sold for $80. So I profited $62.94. It did sell within two days of the first time of listing it. Um, these, uh, Depop seemingly has changed the way that they pay you out. Normally, I think they used to pay you out immediately, but now um, they've gotten to the point where they only pay you out once it's been shipped and received by the buyer. I don't know. What are your feelings down below? Let me know. I can see good. I can see bad. Definitely do I love the money up front, of course, um, but then there comes the potential of like if you have to refund the buyer all this kind of stuff. So I guess that they're more in line with, um, I guess Poshmark. I mean, eBay, you get, you should get paid right up front. Um, but it has its, you know, goods and bads. So I always like to keep you updated on any bundles. So my lowest bundle was a pair of, um, Amer uh, American Eagle, no, Abercrombie and Fitch puffy vests. Um, one was black and one was blue. They were both new tags. They both came from my husband's closet. So basically, um, whenever things come from our personal closets, we just kind of zero out the profit. So be sold within my, um, two for 40 bundle sale, which is an ongoing promotion in my closet. Um, it is, you can purchase two items that are currently priced 99 and below for $40. So this person who was a repeat buyer, she has bought multiple things for me and usually buys things during my sales. Um, she bought them. So because they sold for $40, that would normally leave me $32. So I just, I, you know, even it out. So I profited zero technically on that. Um, then the highest bundle of items was this free people intimately ribbed striped tube top and this rhythm underwire bikini bottom and this really kind of like pretty vintage floral print. Um, my cost of goods for both items together was $7.79. It also sold in a two for 40 bundle sale. So I profited $24.21. I did have one same day sale. So an item that I literally list that day and it sells that day. Um, it wasn't an, an item in um, a two for 40 sale. It was a Tadashi Shoji dress was the one that I um, listed that same day. And then also an anthropology coffee cup that came from my personal collection. So that was pretty neat. I didn't have any full price sales this month, unfortunately. Um, but then in my two for 40 promotions, you heard some, you heard about them. It was six items total and three bundles and they all happened to be my highest, lowest sales and my same day sales. So that's kind of funny. So my notes, August was a dumpster fire. Um, I, I think it was a combination of things like summer slowdown was kind of finally at its highest peak. Um, it also didn't help that I was gone for a week. So I put my closet on vacation mode. Um, I wasn't listing, I wasn't sharing. Um, so that coupled with like summer slowdown, I think probably had something to do with it. Um, it's definitely not the worst month I've had this year. That was January, I think. Um, 
So it wasn't the worst month, but it also wasn't the greatest month. Um, eBay and Depop, I'm talking directly to you. Dear eBay and Epa, <laughs> dear eBay and Depop, you need to make your offers binding because, and I guess I should say on eBay, you need to make them pay immediately because Depop, the offers are not binding. So I, somebody, somebody could consciously make an offer. Like I have one today. Somebody consciously made a $48 offer on an item that is priced at $60. I accept it. Then they have to confirm my acceptance of it. Like that makes no sense to me. And I've lost many sales on that. So Depop, you need to make your listings, your, your offers, uh, binding. I've lost many sales on that, meaning you're losing many sales on that. Now, eBay, you need to make people pay immediately. I, I What is the point of the button of requires immediate payment if it is not enforced? Like, I don't, I don't get it. I know I'm not the only person with these issues, but I'm just wanting to, uh, wanting to share my frustration with you. Um, my last note, September is chef's kiss already like i have already exceeded my goals of what i would like to do each month which is so nice to kind of make up for this dumpster fire of august um so that's really great i'm still taking a week vacation basically so it's so cool to be able to like meet your goal and then be able to take vacation and not have to do anything not have to worry about it um so hopefully maybe i'll make a few sales i did put my poshmark closet on vacation mode um ebay i will be careful this time and if anybody purchases anything to not purchase the shipping label right away and just be very upfront with people uh, about when things will get shipped but yeah, this was August reseller recap. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment down below. Did you reach your goals? What did you think about August? The goods, the bads, the uglies, the everythings. I would love to hear from you. Um, if you like any everything beauty and reselling uh, related, then please consider subscribing, leaving a like on your way out, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.